In this tutorial, we'll take a look at how to create a word sort to help reinforce vocabulary using Active Inspire. So the way this page works, there are two uh, sorting areas and a thinking space. Um, and then there are some compounds back behind here, some text um, behind this rectangle that we can pull out if we are in uh, presentation mode. Now I'm in presentation mode. I'm blue up at the top. I pull out my compound to the thinking space and then I can decide whether or not the um, compound is ionic or covalent um, to see where that goes. So let's take a look at how to do that. I'm going to switch over to my page where I've already got my header all set up and I'm going to go ahead and create um, um, my sorting areas. So I'm going to create uh, three different rectangles here. And so I've got my shape tool and I'm choosing rectangle. And I'm gonna click and drag from the top left to the bottom right. And I don't like that color, so I'm gonna use my fill tool and I'm gonna use my color scheme to choose a color that I've already set up. And I just dump that color into um, the shape that I made. And then from there, I'm gonna make sure that these are the same size. So if I select my shape and um, up here in my marquee handles, I can go ahead and duplicate that shape um, by choosing the um, icon that looks like a piece of paper on top of another piece of paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of line those up on my page there. And I can move those around if I want. And then I also want a thinking area that's a different color. So I'm gonna choose my rectangle again, or my shape tool, my rectangle, choose a different color this time. And that'll be my thinking box there. Um, all right, I'm gonna add some text on top of that using my text tool, thinking. And I'm gonna make that a little smaller up at the top. I'm changing the font size. I'll just push down arrow, down arrow, down arrow. And I'm gonna move that to the middle. That looks great. I'm gonna add some text to label each of these. Change the font to black. I'm gonna label them solid, liquid, and gas. I'm gonna go ahead and line those up as best I can. Um, if I grab my select tool, works a little easier. Uh, there's actually an alignment you can do if you um, select things and then do a right click, you can align things exactly, but I'm just gonna eyeball it for now. And then I'm gonna add my text that I'd like to pull out from behind uh, my box. So um, here's my text. I'm gonna write it over here to the side. So I'm gonna write ice. Oops, and then a new text box, water, and steam. There's my three um, vocab terms that I wanna sort. And I actually wanna change those fonts, or actually, I think I'll leave the font black. I'm gonna change this thinking box so the inside is white so that I, when I pull things out, I can see the text. So. I'm gonna go over here and get my paint bucket tool and select white and dump inside there. And you'll notice that made my, now I can't see where it says thinking box. So I'm gonna change to black and then I'm gonna find where I have the words thinking box and I can even change the font color with my uh, paint bucket there, which is pretty handy. All right, then I'm going to uh, line up my terms here so that they're one on top of the other. I'm gonna grab all of them and I wanna hide them behind something. So I can either choose an image if I wanna drag an image out or I can just uh, choose uh, to create a um, box uh, again or a rectangle. So here's my shape tool. I can choose rectangle or any of the other shapes if you want. Um, I might want it to be a different color this time, but I'll use the paint bucket to um, change my uh, the 
color my box if I want to change it. Here's my select tool so I can move things around. Um, I'm going to go ahead and select everything up here and my thinking box. Um, you'll notice I don't have anything selected down here and that's good. I'm not ready to lock them those things down yet. If I do a right click, I can lock everything down um, except for my terms. I don't want to lock them down. I want to be able to, um, I want them to pull out from behind here. So if I lock my box, uh, my word box um, down or my uh, word sort box, if I right click, I can lock it down and then I can move my text behind it. And because I made my uh, rectangle after I made those text boxes, um, it, it is on top, so that works out great. Then I want to add some uh, uh, text that says vocab so that people know to pull um, the vocabulary terms out um, from the box. So I'm going to write the term vocabulary, and if I right click, I'm going to click off of it, get my select tool, then I should be able to right click and lock down the word vocabulary. So now since I'm in presentation mode, again my presentation mode is blue up here at the top, I can pull out a term one at a time, move it over to the thinking box and decide is that a solid, liquid, or gas. And then I can move it um, to the right place so that I'm sorting my vocabulary.